Hello again, everybody. So the sketch series just turns 40 today, and to celebrate, uh, we're gonna play around with some new Max for Live devices that I finally got around to finishing up. So we've got this Note a Chance one. It is a note probability gate. It's got um, a lot of randomizing stuff, got a random octave, um, goes plus or minus. Um, we can choose scales. So it's also got a note generator. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And it just creates random notes. But we can choose a scale here. Let's add a bit of release. Oh, wrong lane. Now here we've got a little crackle um, distortion effect. We've got a mono, we can mono the crackles. We've got crackle them out. It's actually full on crackle, wet and dry kind of thing. Um, here's the crackle rate. So if you need like a white noise or a crackle impulse type source, this is a, a good one. Uh, I think it sounds a little better than the vinyl distortion that comes with Ableton. We've got some presets here. You can hold down shift to save a preset here. Um, alt shift erases the preset. Uh, this one, Seasick, is kind of an extreme vibrato and then of course we've got this kind of silly uh, tremolo that's also kind of a random uh, warble on the volume there and we can choose the range how far down we want it to go how extreme um, same preset system on all three of these these are good for lo-fi stuff I guess um, so here we can choose a different scale here let's let's try a major scale and let's turn this crackles way down. I, I don't think you need too much to add a nice little lo-fi effect. This chance thing also has a sort of random, smooth random LFO section for the pitch bend, which can make things sound really woozy. But if we take down the um, pitch bend amount, we can get something a little bit more akin to like, a, you know, Boards of Canada or something. We can also change this to MIDI CC out if we want. Let's uh, ch choose the mod wheel to control uh, volume B here. And we can add more smooth to the random LFO, smooth random there. Same with this, C smooth. It's basically like it smooths out the, um, makes the waves a little, a little broader. Also had some changes to the auto slider here. Some updates, um, flashy new UI stuff. We've got um, we've got a speed control here. Let's go ahead and just record something. You can hold down control so I can let up off the mouse and get these jumps here. As long as you're holding down control. Here we go. Let's map that to say the. Uh, And let's adjust that. We don't want it going all the way down. And we can speed things up. This is in um, milliseconds, so the, the lower the number, the faster. I really need to come up with a, a steady convention for that through across all of these, because sometimes it's the opposite. Uh, we can smooth it out. Um, so we can also, we can also pause it here and reset this resets the, the phase, so it restarts the loop back over. It's kind of hard to see with the smoothing on a little bit. And this is the playback type backwards right now. Uh, as you can see, if you mouse over, I try to put these little comments in there to make it easier. Of course, we can kill it um, if we want to start it over again. And the seafoam on this adds a little noise section. So if you don't want that, just turn that seafoam off. There's a lot of noise added there, basically 100% noise. It's based on the, the amplitude of the incoming signal. You can also dial in 0.05. If you want really small amounts, 0.01. Or hold down shift to get incremental movements there. Um, another 
device I finally finished up and I really, really enjoy it. It's this draw automation one. You just click, draw, and it basically uh, creates this unique LFO for you. You can change the speed here. I need to add some hints in on this one. I also want to add a MIDI CC out on this one too. So let's just put this on the seafoam height. And you've got four lanes here, and each lane has eight mappers per lane. So quite a lot of options. You can hit this random button if you just want to make a completely random wave. You can hit X to cancel it out. This AR here, let's draw one to get it going. But if you have this AR on, um, whenever we get to the end, it creates a new random envelope. So that can be useful for just full on random. Uh, we've got a smooth section here. So we can also map this to, let's just map it to here. On the crackle one, this number is what you can automate. Now we got a very uh, boards of Canada e sounding generative thing going on. If you take the wet and dry down on the seasick, you get a, a nice, really woozy uh vibrato or chorus -y kind of effect especially if we've got like a little spread going on the uh, operator let's map this to here so i feel like this about covers all of the new stuff Let's just create one more and do a little bit of um, layering there. Let's play with this octave shifter. And we can slow this down here. Oh, let's turn off, there's a, that pitch bend is going crazy. Bunch of random velocity in there. And let's make these a little more. So if we, we lower this, the less notes coming out of the note generator. So if I take down the C height, and the C smooth, we get a lot, a lot more conservative, a more of a normal random tremolo going on there. Let's just try to use this one as kind of a source. I want to run it through the pitch shift draw LFO, which is, um, which we can get some really interesting FFT kind of chirpy stuff going on there. So let's. Let's get that LFO. A little smooth there. And we need to make this one a little bit louder, I think. This one a little more quiet so we can make the more normal sounding operator a little more prominent there. Got a little humanizing too if we want to like add some random delays. Where is our tremolo? can add a lot more smooth to get a bit more of a conservative thing going on there. Of course, we can turn it off with this. I'm add a little noise source to this thing.
I think that um, as far as a uh, little sketch goes, I'm feeling good about this. I'll probably do more work on it after, so feel free. Be sure to open up the, uh, the .als file and uh, check out the post video work that I've done. And uh, uh, yeah, until next time, happy sketching.